Oh, we do have a break to do. And that break is 2019 Tops Series 1 Baseball Jumbo Full Case Number 1, baby. Let's knock that out. Put the list up here for you. Now, we do have to random the Yankees. The Yankees were a giveaway. Yeah, it says it on the screen, but it's $24 in the store. So I just got to make that change here on the screen. But uh, but thank you for letting me know, uh, Jordan. All right, so we do have to give away the, uh, the Yankees. We're going to do that as we usually do via random. All right. I'm going to roll the die here. We're going to go 10 times in the randomizer. I'm just going to grab the names here, copy, come into the randomizer, put that on the screen here, paste that. No, for George, I appreciate that, man. Thank you. All right, so we're going to go 10 times. The top name wins the Yankees because they are random to the break. Good luck, everybody. And the money shot 10. Boom, 10 times, my man Richard with the last spot mojo. Congrats, my man, winning the Yankees. Richard was the last to buy into the break. And he won the Yankees. Ain't that something? Congrats, my dude. Put that on the screen there. I'll put this in, uh, in order here alphabetically. Make my life, my life a little easier, mainly my sorters. All right, so there it is. What's up, Gabba? How you doing? I wish this post-it note would just stay up. All right, let's get that out the way. And I'm going to let Abraham entertain you for a minute while I go grab the case. Yo. All right, I'll be right back, y'all. All right, got the case, baby. All right, got the case, baby. Let's open this up. Oh, damn, Jordan. Oh, damn, Jordan. Yeah, that's uh, that weather, man. These some big ass boxes. Watch your mouth. Watch your mouth. Don't worry, Gabba. I'll go through these uh, very quickly. Don't worry, Gabba. I'll go through these uh, very quickly. It's only 10 packs per box. It's only 10 packs per box. And veteran base is not shipping, so I will be going through it fairly quickly. Not shipping, so I will be going through it fairly quickly. Uh, Blob. Uh, middle finger to the Patriots. Uh, that, that's a middle finger right there. Anyways, good luck, everybody. Thank you, Abe. All right, let's open this up. We're looking at one auto, two relics per box of the jumbo, that is. At least we do have uh, fat packs here. So that's good news. That's funny. I thought about Jason.
Abraham is the Max Kellerman of hamsters. <laughs> well, he's not a hamster, first of all. He's a cyborg. Everything except veteran base, uh, Jordan. All right, here we go. Let's see what we got. Insert for rookies. Now that I more or less know what I'm looking for. I can go through these quickly. Heavy buyers of the Cubs to 2019. Well, Blob, I never said all that. <laughs> I would never call him a bum. I just hate his guts because he's so dang good. Joe Mauro, the Twins, he's pretty good. To 50, the uh, 150th medallion. Pretty cool looking card. Would have been nicer with some ink on it, too. Got to random those. Jonathan Yar, Orioles, Chrome. That's what I'm talking about, Scotty. We'll go ahead and do that right after this. I just got a uh, word back from Jason uh, as far as the Raiders and Limited are concerned. I think he might be changing them from his house, but either way, I will confirm that shortly. Austin Hedges for the Padres to 67. Uh, no, Matt. The uh, silver packs uh, are not included in these breaks. I'll probably give them away in like fillers or something tonight. But uh, yeah, the silver packs are not included in these breaks. Jackie Bradley Jr., 2019 Red Sox, Lindor. Indians, I gotta random this. The first uh, commissioner. Uh, silver packs came with uh, with the cases of series ones that we had ordered. They're like promo packs, if you will. And I will be giving them away uh, 
throughout the night, likely in fillers if I have to do any. Like Jason opened a pack of a silver pack earlier today, and uh, this is what the cards look like in the silver packs. Cool looking cards. It's only four cards per pack, more or less. But yeah, you, you know there are autos in there. There's no checklist, but there are autos and parallels and so so on and so forth. I'll give some away tonight in fillers and you know whatnot. Nice. There's an autograph for the Dodgers, Max Muncy. Well, three gears. I mean, it's, it's. I I I hear what you're saying, but we never offered them, man. So it's not like we're lying to you. Uh, I can understand your opinion, but it's not like we lied to anybody. You hit a Ripken Jr. auto? Oh, I was going to say, if I hit one, oh, okay. I am about to say, dude, that's like one of my favorite baseball players ever. Carlos Rodon of the White Sox. That's a cool looking card. Well, I'm t I, I just said so right now, three gears. But you're right. You are correct. I'm still, they're still not included in the break though. On eBay or in the store. But you do have a point. I'll go ahead and uh, change the description right after I'm done with this. Because if you're thinking it, well, well, you said something, but if you said something, I'm sure other people probably feel the same way. Steven Dugar, Giants, Karomi. These are rookies. Oh, well, three gears. If you want a refund, man, I'll, I'll be more than happy to take care of that if that's what you like. You do have a point, you know. I'm not going to fight you there. You are absolutely correct. I was planning on giving everybody like a one pack or something because of that. But moving forward, they are not a part of the break. So if you want to refund three gears, let me know. I'll take care of it. Anthony Rizzo Cubs patch. But I will be giving away one silver pack to everybody in this break. Because you guys are absolutely correct. We should have stated in the description that the silver packs are not a part of this break. So with that being said, three gears, if you still would like a refund or whatever... Let me know. Uncle Jesse will take care of it.
one per team, gears, one per team. Bikini box breaks, that's a great idea. That is actually a great idea. I think that's what I'm going to do. But for this break specifically, every team will get a silver pack assigned to it. So gear, three gears, if your name is Michael, then that means you'll get four silver packs. Hey, it's all good, man. No worries. I got a few silver packs to play with there, so not a big deal. I can, I can definitely give one to every team in this break. But moving forward... In Jumbo Case 2 and so on and so forth, I will state in the description. Depending on how many I have left, I'll probably do like 10 packs or something. Uh, we'll random to the hitless spots. <laughs> right, box breaks? Yeah, it's, yeah, right? Assuming someone doesn't get a hit because everybody's going to get a hit in this. I guess three gears, I, I guess. What the heck is this? That's a cool card. The iconic. I mean, it's it's exactly it's, it's 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 exactly as Jordan says there. You know, this is this is just gonna help me moving forward. So it's no worries, gears or anybody out there. You know, we we do pride ourselves in customer service, and Michael's absolutely right. You know, we didn't state one way or the other, so I, I have no problem taking care of my folks because y'all take care of me. Travis shot a fifty for the Brewers there. We just have to be more thorough as far as the descriptions and, and, and so on and so forth. So, lesson learned. I like that in the jumbo you can at least get an autograph. One per box. I wonder how many autographs there are in a case for a, a hobby case. Because, dude, I went through six boxes earlier for eBay not a single autograph. And with the amount of cards in that stuff, to not pull a single autograph is uh, kind of disappointing, to say the least. Got a random loop. Brad Keller Royals, Chrome Rookie. I'm sure that Hobby has like exclusive parallels or something that'll, you know, make it sexy. Nick Ahmed, Chrome for the D-backs.
No, dang it, those are rookies. I'm trying to keep everything separate. Justin Upton, Angels Crew. I like these old school uh, iconic card reprints. JD Martinez, Red Sox patch. Uh, Terry, do I think it'll break tonight? I do, man. I really do. Especially if you buy like 20 teams and help me fill the break. I guarantee you I'll rip it tonight. Will you be awake when it happens? Remains to be seen. Uh, but in that case, you can, you know, always check us out in the morning, baby. When you're having your cup of joe. But all jokes aside, I do think we can fill it tonight. Especially since it's a hot new product. And you guys have been yearning for some football. Michael Lorenzen, Reds Chrome. Agreed, Joe. I think we can fill all the cases of Limited that we have in the store tonight. We just got to get into it. Like right now, as I go through this break, buy teams, y'all. That way, by the time I'm done with this, if we do have to run any fillers, they'll be quick fillers. Manny Margot for the Padres to 2019. I got a... Oh, no, that's Giants. I don't have to run that. Did Jason ever text me back? Ah, he did. Okay. So the Raiders are going to be 39 bucks. The Raiders are 39 bucks. I'm going to change the price for that real quick here. Date what the f Is that is that a 101? Yadi Molina patch for the Cardinals. With the sweet hat logo patch on there. It's not a one of one. It's not numbered. But that is cool as hell. Got the logo on there. The commemorative hat logo patch. That's pretty cool. I like it. I think that's a 130. Some of these come with autographs, even nicer. Those are rookies, those are okay. Yeah. Wait, what's today? Oh yeah, wait today. Cause last night they had uh, FPL in here, and they shut the power down. If that were today, I'd be pretty pissed off. Irvin Santana Twins, 2019. Ranger Suarez for the Phillies to Chrome.
do 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 So now that I got word from Jason, I want to go ahead and uh, change that team price super quick for limited, because I know that's keeping uh, keeping people back from buying into that stuff. Probably Raiders a tad expensive, a tad more than they should be. So let me take care of that super quick. We got four boxes of this stuff left to do. We are on our way. All the YouTube videos that had to be uploaded have been uploaded. So that's good to go there. Boom, done, deal. Limited. Yep, limited number two has the last, uh, that last team there, which would be the Raiders, correct? Yep, 39, done, deal. All right, so I changed the Raiders in two. I'm going to go ahead and change them in all the other ones as well. Might as well just do that now. Thank you guys for being patient with me. I just want to knock this out here and get this done with. Oh, yeah, I know Optic 3 is full. But I want to get these uh, the Raiders fixed here for limited. Come on, come on, dude. Come on, dude. Seriously? Did this thing just run out of battery on me, bro? I think it did. God dang it. There we go. Gotta love technology. Alright. Raiders are there. Are done. I got two more to fix. Yeah, this thing is definitely running out of juice. Dude, I hope I have more batteries. If not, I'm going to have a bad time. And one more. Alright, where the hell... These are AAA batteries. What are these? Mm, the good old double A. Do I have any double A spare batteries here or something, man? Whatever. Thank you, Joe Pa. Appreciate you. So we got yet another break field right there. And with this, boom. So I went ahead and fixed the Raiders in all of the limited uh, breaks. So that's been done there.
As far as the Twins, there's Travis Shaw Brewers Auto, uh, Max Muncy Dodgers Auto. Uh, there was a Joe Maurer uh, Twins Medallion, but that's about it. Uh, here it is if you want to see it, uh, jo uh, Jamie. There it is right there. It's number to 50. Boom. And while I'm at it, let me just include that in the description. Learn something new every day, baby. Dude, Jamie, you need to stay indoors, man. All y'all up there up north, man. I don't know how you guys deal with the cold, seriously. Alright, that's been taken care of. I even went ahead and updated the... Uh, the what you call it the series one description as well it'll be 50 degrees warmer tomorrow oh dude I was watching uh I forgot what it was but it was like a it was a it was a graphic there were parts of Minnesota that were like negative 50 degrees and there were parts of Florida under 50 degrees so a, a difference of a hundred and twenty something degrees throughout the country that's that's ridiculous I don't, I don't know how y'all deal with the cold seriously I'm enjoying the cold though. A lot, a lot of South Floridians are complaining about the cold. I, I, I am soaking it in because we don't, we don't, we don't get this cold for this long in Miami. Joe Pot, it's, it's definitely real, man. It's definitely real. Yep. Yes, sir, Jamie. It's it's only going to get crazier and crazier as time goes on until we do something about it. But that's another discussion for another day. Let's see what we can hear. Sorry for taking that long-ass pause, you guys. I had to uh, get some things together in the store. I went ahead and updated the, uh, the description for the Series 1's breaks. Not only for this one, will I be giving a silver pack to every team? Because we didn't explicitly state that we're not a part of this break. And we should have, so I apologize. So for this break only, everyone will get a silver pack for their team. But in the other breaks, the silver packs are not included. And that's in the description now. Jose Abreu to 2019 for the White Sox there. I might have to random this. The equipment evolution card. That's kind of random. Yeah, well, hopefully it'll be it'll come like after we're gone. Robinson Cano with the commemorative hat logo patch to 25 for the Mariners. These these cards are super cool. Super cool. They said it's colder in Chicago than in the Antarctic. That's that's ridiculous. 
that statement right there makes no sense. And you know, maybe if we build a wall, you know, it'll go away. Ha <laughs> ha That's my little joke for the day. But don't shh. Kyle Schroeber, Cubs, Chrome. Got to random this one, but it's the 2019. Mark Trumbo, Orioles, Chrome, that's an A. One thing I've noticed in, uh, in Hobby, there's like one short print per box. Or in every other box. I haven't seen any yet. I do have the uh, base card separate. I want to go through them later tonight. Off the stream. Make sure I don't miss any uh, short prints and stuff. Short prints are code 70, uh, 67. The super short prints are code 68. So I, I do know what I'm looking for, unfortunately. Uh, you know, sometimes you can catch them. You know, they, they just look different. But for the most part, the only way to truly tell is to look for the code on the back of the card. And I'll take my time doing that later tonight. Space Force. <laughs> I heard they're making a show about that on Netflix. The same dudes that created or wrote The Office or something like that. They are making a uh, a Space Force show or something for Netflix. Isn't it crazy how... Oh, maybe it's not crazy, but... I think it's crazy how Netflix has like their own like studio or something like they they have their own movies being made I guess that would be the equivalent of like you know straight to DVD or something those straight to DVD movies There's an autograph for Daryl Strawberry of the Mets. Boom. It's pretty cool. To 150. At least one auto per jumbo box. That's a nice, nice relief, if you will. Nice catch, Ichiro. Oh man, if it's if it, oh god, now I'm starting to like my my the gears are turning in my head. If it's this cold right now, I can only imagine what summer's going to look like. Oh, God. Mitch Moreland, Red Sox Chrome. I can only imagine what summer's going to be like. 
probably gonna be the so the hottest summer in like the history of like ever. It would not surprise me at all. Right, 150 degrees. Little Otani Chrome right there. Got a random this. Ty Cobb and Bryce Harper on there. A little Pacharoni for the homie. Trey Mancini of the Orioles. Not numbered. Hell yeah, Matt. Uh, dude, I'm I'm honestly hyped for the national. I always treat th those trips as like a, a, a little vacation, even though it's far from it. Chris Bryant, Cubs Chrome, I, I am technically working. But with me and Jason tag teaming that stuff, man, we fucking crush it during the Nationals. That's my boy right there. The National is the last week of July, the first week of August, if I'm not mistaken. I don't know the exact dates. I think it's July 31st or something like that. But this year it's in Chicago. Rosemont, Illinois, to be specific. Uh, yeah, Joe Paul, we actually break during the National. We have uh, we have a we have a few tables set up actually, where me and Jason are streaming live and we're also breaking live from the national. Uh, well, that depends, Jamie. They have different uh, what you call it. They have different packages that they sell. Where you could get stuff for going to the National, but, you know, it'd be like a VIP kind of deal that you'd be buying. You're definitely going to have to pay for it. But I've been tossing around the idea of, uh, like, as far as the Rip City family is concerned, like, if you plan on going to the National... There's a ninety percent chance that we can get you that we can get you in, but you know I gotta iron out those details moving forward, cause that's something I would like to do. Like if I could get it, like head, like getting closer to the national. If I could get a list of people that are for sure gonna go, then we can get you in for free. But as far as like all the VIP stuff and all that other stuff, you that you're gonna have to take care of on your own. No, Jamie, but you, I mean, if you want to, you can. You know, we, we definitely uh, could use some more sorters. That's another thing, Joe Pop. That's something that I would like to do. Like I said, is like. As far as like the national, like getting ready to head to the national, what I would like to do is like put like a little package together or something for the folks that are going. Maybe give you like a t-shirt and you know the free pass that I was telling you about. That'd be that'd be a cool little thing to do. Me and Jesse, I mean for me and me and Jason can definitely get you in though for free. That. You don't even gotta worry about that. If if we're cool, we can get you in no problem. 
If you're an asshole, it's going to cost you. Blake Snell, Ray's Chrome. Like last year, we had, you know, we we had a couple people come by. Ra Ra came through. Uh, my boy Brad came through. We had a, a couple other people that came by to, to stop by and visit us. Uh, but, you know, my boy Ra Ra, we got him in for free. Ain't that right, Ra Ra? Ooh, nice. Masahiro Tanaka for the Yankees, the postseason autograph. 25 of 25, little eBay 101. That's very nice. Very nice. But yeah, we got Ra Ra in last, uh, last year. We also got uh, my boy Brad in. I think we got a couple other people in as well. But not near, like maybe half the people that said they were going to show up actually showed up to the National. So hopefully this year we have a little bit more of a turnout as far as the Rip City family. And listen, if you've never been to a National and you collect, you know, if you're into the hobby and stuff like that, you, you, you're definitely doing yourself a disservice. You should definitely go to the National at least once in your life. It's, it's, it's a lot of fun. Jordan Hicks to 2019 like i don't collect cards man like i'm not in the hobby whatsoever but dude it's it's a lot of fun it's a lot of fun i i definitely learn a lot from going to those events and this year is the uh I think this year is like the fifth, like the twenty-fifth anniversary or something like that for the national. So they're probably going to be doing it a little extra big in Shy City. We got JD Martinez Chrome for the Red Sox. I really like these old school reprints they got here. Glaber Torres, Yankees relic right there. Cool picture too. No, that's all Dodgers, so they can go here. All right, so if I'm not mistaken, we already have two breaks filled. We got limited and we got optic. In case you're wondering which one I'm going to do next, I'm going to knock out that optic first because that break is a lot faster to go through than, uh, than optic. So I'll be doing limited first, and then I'll knock out the optic. And by the time I'm, I knock that out, surely we'll have another case or two filled. Uh, do vendors give discounts on boxes? I'm not sure, uh, Jamie. To be honest with you, I do know that they give away they give away uh, they give away packs at the Tops booth, at the Panini booth, and stuff like that. Like if you sit down for like ten minutes or something, and you like are there for for a presentation or something like that some bullshit there you they do give away like packs of cards and stuff like that um, so definitely definitely you can get exclusive freebies for attending the nationals I since I actually have to work while I'm there I don't really have time to walk around and you know look at the different vendors and see what kind of stuff they're doing but they have cool stuff too, like where you can get your card, you can get a picture of yourself taken, and they print it out in a card. Like for example, uh, check that out right there. I think this was in Chicago. Yeah, see, Chicago, 2017, went and got a cardboard Moses card made. Jason did the same thing. Over at the PSA booth, Tops does the same thing, except they don't slab it for you. Matt Davidson, White Sox, Chrome. So, dude, definitely National is, is a lot of fun, a lot of fun.
And you get to, have, you know, you get to have a little tasty beverage, a little tasty adult beverage with your Uncle Jesse after the fact, you know, so. This year, Ra Ra, you're ho are, you, are you still doing the, uh, the symposium again this year, Ra Ra? A lot of free swag given away at the National. Who doesn't like free swag? Aaron Judge, Yankees Chrome. Actually, it's a refractor, but it's not numbered. Cool looking cards here, these old school reprints. Got two boxes left. Almost done. Terry, thinking about going with the wife. Oh, gotcha. There you go. You know, while the wife's away, Terry going to play. Kind of deal. I see you pimping. Man, these cards are super cool. Alex Bregman, the hat logo patch. Super cool. Very nice. Dude, Jordan, you were on fire that night. Not for nothing. Rookie judges, no less. Crazy. I love Inception. That's that's one of my favorite sets to do. Not just because they're super quick breaks. They take like less than 15 minutes to do. But there's really nice stuff in there. Uh, starting Marte Pirates to 67. Now you're talking my language, Terry. Oh, yeah. Love me some tequila, baby. Have I ever had an Irish car bomb? I have. I have. They're pretty tasty. Can't lie. Jaeger bombs. Good, the good, the good old days. Dude, I haven't gotten hammered, hammered in a while. I'm probably gonna get hammered this Sunday though for the Super Bowl. Like that's my goal. We're gonna be streaming. We are gonna be streaming Sunday. Not during the Super Bowl. We are going to be streaming earlier uh, than usual on Sunday. I'll have to check the schedule as far as the time is concerned. But we will not be streaming during the, during the Super Bowl. So I'm going to take that time to get freaking blackout wasted. Because if Tom Brady wins the Super Bowl, I don't want to know about it. I want to be blackout drunk peeing on myself somewhere. Well, he does have a pool. I'll probably pee in the pool. Uh, Joey Wendell, Rays 2019, Freddie Freeman of the Braves. A little chromy. I hope the Rams win, man. It'd be it'd be it'd be awesome. Dang Jordan. I wanna hang out with you, man. I think this well. No, for Cleveland, I definitely would need to rent a car. But in Rosemont, everything's relatively pretty close. So I, uh, I don't have to Uber much. Uh, our, hel our hotel will more than likely be right across from the, uh, 
from the convention. Oh, dude, I, I would definitely vote. I would definitely vote Tom Brady off the island in a heartbeat. Oh, dude, Jordan, that's not even a question. We'll definitely hang. I just hope that there's like really cool product coming out around that time. Last year, I think it was Immaculate Baseball that came out during the, during the Nationals. And not for nothing, the cases we had were freaking loaded. Absolutely loaded. So last National was pretty, pretty good for us, all things considered. Hoping to blow the roof off the joint this year. This is box five. Almost there. Almost done. I don't know what day of the what what day of the week is it in Australia? It's probably Thursday right now. I don't know, man. My boy Jimbo probably watching right now, just straight lurking. You out there, Jimbo? Are you watching? Say hi to your uncle Jesse one time. Just one time. Vintage sunglasses, modern sunglasses on the front back. That's pretty cool. I'm gonna have to random those equipment cards though. Jake Bowers Rays rookie card. All right there. I'm still a little ticked off. That the Chiefs couldn't win that game, and they had every opportunity to do so. But, I mean, you got to give credit where it's due, man. The Patriots do not beat themselves. So the Rays are going to have to play a damn near perfect game to beat the Patriots. I just hope it's a competitive game, honestly. I don't like last year's Super Bowl was awesome. You know, there was very little defense being played, but it was back and forth. Patriots score, Eagles score. You know what I mean? Like it was a fun game to watch. Ronald Guzman to sixty seven Rangers. I just I don't want to see a blowout. You know, I, I don't want to see Alabama versus Clemson this year because that was man that was a whew, that was tough Miguel Cabrera Tigers patch boom man listen I, I've learned one thing about the Patriots in all my years of hating the Patriots and you never count them out just because you might think oh the Rams D line is way better than the Pats O line bullshit the Patriots will figure out a way Oh, the Patriots' defense sucks. The, the last few weeks, they figured out a way. So, I, you definitely never count the Patriots out, ever. That's one thing I've learned. As much as it pains me to say that. But I do think the Rams can do it. They definitely have the talent. Just got to execute. Cole Stewart, Twins, Chrome. I agree, it's all coaching. I agree. It is all coaching. Well, see, that'll go to the Dodgers, obviously. Cool card there. So not all of the equipment uh, evolution cards will go to a team. Just the ones that I've that I've picked here and there that don't have a team designation. Michael Brantley Indians Chrome. Almost done. 
Got the rest of this box and one more to go through. The Heat are losing right now. I'm not happy about that. Against the fucking Bulls, no less. I hate, man. That's the thing I hate about the Heat, man, is... We could be playing the Warriors, and, you know, we'll play them close. We'll probably still lose the game, but it'll be a close one. And then we play a shitty team like the fucking Bulls, and it's a close game for no reason. Uh, whatever. Cool looking cards, these old school reprints. Sean Reed Foley, Blue Jays rookie 2019. Brooks Robinson reprint. Sorry, JMS, sorry. Well, I mean, officially, it is Rip City after dark, so. There is that. Everybody knows what happens at night. <laughs> yeah, buddy! That's right, Ra Ra. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Listen, I don't know about y'all, but I was dropping F bombs in like the first grade. I had just learned how to speak English. My first language was Spanish. I had to take ESOL classes to learn English. I learned English in about a, in, in like two months or so, and quite shortly after that, I dropped my very first F bomb in school. I told the teacher to go f yourself, and the whooping I got after that was you know not fun. But hey, if you think your kids aren't cursing, continue lying to yourself if you want to. But man, kids, boy, they be cussing, boy. So you know, don't don't lie to yourself. Look your kid in the eye right now. Is what Uncle Jesse saying is true? If they look in any direction other than your your eyeballs, they're lying. And you should whoop them right now. Kobe Allard Braves. No, don't do that. Don't do that. Unless they deserve it, then hey, whatever. But you know what? I'm all for spanking. You know, if I if I had not got spanked growing up as a kid, I don't know where I would be right now. Truth be told, I'd probably be somewhere on H Street, selling myself for monies. Robert Yount of the Brewers. Ah, see, Scotty? That's and see? That that's another way to know he's lying. Yeah, you know, why would he do that? You know, unless he's trying to prove a point. You know, that that ergo visa V, that's a lie. It's alright though. Let him go, Scotty. Let him go. You and I both know that we did way worse growing up as kids. Robert Yount, Brewers. You know, J-Man, not for nothing. They should bring those days back. Back when uh, teachers could beat the, the kids or whatever. Okay, I'm exaggerating. I don't, I don't think they should go that far. Because uh, I'll be damned if some stranger whoops my kid. That's my job. Shoot. You know, growing up, I would be, you know, my mama whoop me. And then I remember one time... I thought I was a smart ass, and I told my mom, Mom, if you hit me, I'm going to call the police. Dude, not exaggerating, she called the police. She dialed 911, 
and handed me the phone. <laughs> and I was like, uh, sorry, I got the wrong number. And then she whooped my ass right after that. So, what did I learn? Well, don't bluff when it comes to Mom Dukes. But that's crazy nowadays. You can't even beat your you can't even beat your own kids. You touch you know what I'm saying? You touch your kids now, it's all oh, child services. I'm gonna do the same trick if I ever have any kids and they wanna pull that shit. If you hit me, I'm calling child services. Well, I'm gonna call the motherfucker for you. Get your ass out of here. Shit. I'm tired of you. Probably won't like that one too much though. Dude, I have so many cards, I can't even see the chat. So let me move some stuff here. Man, listen. I, bro, I got medieval whoopings. Like, I remember one time, I don't, I, I forgot what I did. But one thing about getting spanked is obviously you're not going to spank your kid for no good reason. You know, they, they have to have, they have to have done something to deserve getting spanked. You know what I mean? I would do that. I was a badass little kid growing up. I'm not going to lie. And one time my mom went medieval on me, bro. She had got like a bunch of pebbles, like a bunch of rocks. And she spread them like all on the floor. Mind you, the floor was like concrete. Right? So she got all these pebbles and she's like, get on all fours. So I had like my knees and my hands, the palm of my hands. And all of my body weight was, like, resting on the pebbles of rocks or whatever. So you might think, oh, that's not too bad. Yeah, that's cool. Try try, try doing that for an hour. And my mom's thing was, like, don't cry. If you cry, I'm going to give you a reason to cry. That was, that's like, that was, like, her main thing. Oh, are you crying? Are you crying? I'm going to give you a reason to cry. Mind you, in Spanish. Right? So it was even more destructful. So anyways, did that for about an hour. Somehow without crying. And then when I stood up, she's like, who told you to stand up? And she whooped my ass. And then I started crying. And then she's like, you're crying? I'm going to give you a reason to cry. And then she whooped my ass some more. Single moms got to go hard, Scotty. Single moms have to go hard. My mom had to play the role of mother and father. You know, my father wasn't there growing up. Oh, what on, boo-hoo, whatever. It is what it is. So she had to whoop my ass sometimes a little bit more than she probably should have just to drive the point home. And boy, did she ever. But, man, I dude, I've gotten whoopings with all kinds of extension cords, I've had pots and pans thrown at me, wire hangers, freaking palm trees, not not like a whole tree, but like a branch of a palm tree, that was funny when that happened, yeah, good times, good times, the moral of the story is, you know, beat your kids if you want them to grow up to be like Uncle Jesse, <laughs> All right, last box mojo. Here we go, yo. Hopefully, hit something stupid nice for somebody here. Mitch Garver Twins Chrome Strasburg reprint. Oh, excuse me. <coughs> oh, excuse me. That dust creeping up on me. What is this? 
Cesar Hernandez of the Phillies to 50. Okay. <coughs> Boy. There's an auto for Blake Training of the A's. <clears throat> K Wade. <laughs> What's up, man? I agree with you, K. Uh, K. Wade. High school teacher cussing is second nature now. Do you curse to your students, by the way? Because I remember that was one of my favorite teachers growing up. In the, I think no, it was eighth grade. It was eighth grade. I had him for homeroom. He was an English teacher, and every other word out of his mouth was a curse word. And he was probably the most intelligent, like thoughtful people, like thoughtful person I had met up until that point. Super nice guy, like you know, heart of gold. But every other word out of his mouth was a curse word, and I loved it. Nice, Jamie. Yeah, I had one of those teachers, too. Pretty awesome. But she was like a, she was like a computer graphics teacher. And there's one time a fight broke out in class. And she didn't call security. She didn't call nothing. She's like, all right, y'all going to fight? Y'all going to do it right here. I ain't going to call nobody. What's up? It was pretty awesome. This is pretty awesome, too. To 25, Mike Trout. With the game use patch right there. Very nice. Very, very nice. You know, I'll admit, I definitely curse a lot. But, like, I, I'm respectful, though. Like, I don't, you know, I, I'm very respectful to my elders. You know, I, I know when and where. Like, I, I can, na like, now, I can choose my... My battles, if you will. Like, in just my regular speak, like, my regular speech, I just, I curse like a motherfucker, you know what I'm saying? That's just, that's just the charm of Uncle Jesse, you know? I'm, I'm a potty mouth. Pirates, that is to uh, 2019. That goes to the Tigers, obviously. <clears throat> but, you know, I, I'm, you know, growing up, I would never curse at, at like, a teacher of mine or anyone that's older than me just out of respect <coughs> that was very big growing up is just respect respecting your elders and more so just respecting yourself I don't know kids nowadays are are bitches to be honest with you little bitches kids today are soft the newer generation is just God. <clears throat> Sometimes I wish we could solve our problems via trial by combat. You know what I'm saying? Just walk up to somebody you have a problem with. I challenge you to a duel. Boom, you duel, you duel, you duke it out. And you know, and then that's it. You know? I live in a barbaric world in my mind.
Medallion for Tom Seaver of the Mets. Very nice. Very nice. To 150. I was born in 89. So I don't know where I fit in as far as that's concerned. You feel me, Matt? Yo, oh, yo, that's, oh, man. That's so true. That is so true. Now, like, not for nothing, like, if, if I'm out in public or something like that, crazy, right? Jesse's out in public? What? He left the house today? What? George Springer, 2019 Astros. And, like, I'll see a kid. Like, even just talking back is a huge no-no. You do as you're told, damn it. Even just talking back to my mom was he was just blasphemous. And my mom was slick about it, too. She's like, all right, I'm not going to whoop your ass right now. But wait till we get back to the house. Wait till we get in the car. Your ass is grass. And then my mom got so good. She had just like, she had like a sensor in her brain or something. Like anytime I do something stupid, she would like preemptively strike. She's just like smack me. I'm like, what the hell did I do? You haven't done it yet, <laughs> but that was the, that's why I smacked you. <laughs> and then I'll just start thinking to myself, what the hell was I going to do? You know, a little Jedi mind trick on me there. And then eventually it, it got to a point where with just one look, I would just stop anything and everything I was doing so I would not suffer her wrath. But that only lasted while she was bigger than me. As soon as I hit that growth spurt and I was bigger than her, oh boy, those whoopings stopped. Mainly because instead of crying, I would laugh. <laughs> She'd try to hit me and I would just laugh. You know, I had my own little psychological warfare. I think I was like 13 or something and she tried to whoop my ass. And then I pulled that trick on her. And she never tried to hit me ever again. I mean, think about how, think about how, like, unmotivating that's got to be. You're trying your absolute hardest to whoop my ass, and I'm just there laughing at you. <laughs> Come to think of it, that was pretty genius. So that was a genius tactic. Any kids watching, feel free to uh, use that. <laughs> uh, but, of course, you're probably not getting any whoopings because it's 2019. And we don't do that anymore. Hmm. Definitely got to random this. Because uh, that goes to... Uh, there's no team on that. We got a few duplicates here. I like to give one to each team, and then any that we have left over, we'll just go to the one via randoms, which I'll be doing here shortly. This one is numbered, so that one definitely has got to go to the one team. Got to random that here in a bit. This one needs to go to one team. And this one goes over here. Coolsies. Man, the Heat getting destroyed by the Bulls. And it was a close game. We were up. And, of course, we just played down to our competition. Them boys just want to go home and have a drink. <laughs> They're packing it in. Probably Larry Mike, but I doubt it. <laughs> Alright, so this one has to go to one team. Uh, this vintage catcher's mat, uh, mask doesn't have any team on there. This one doesn't have a team. And this one, there's a tiger on the front. And I don't even know who that is. I want to say that's Javi Baez of the Cubs. I think, right? Can anybody confirm that? That looks like a tiger. Because of the D on there, Detroit. And I think that's Javi Baez. 
I think it looks like him anyway. Alright, so, let's random this stuff already. Enough talking, let's get to work. So as far as these ones are concerned, it's going to go to the left or the right team. I'm going to roll a die. If I get an odd number, left side team. Even number, right side team. So that's odd left, even right. Here we go. Even. So it's going to go to the right side team. So this one will go to the Astros. Dude, Sean, it's beautiful. Uh, we're, we're talking about 50, 60 degrees compared to uh, some of y'all around the, the rest of the country. Y'all are freezing. I definitely am not. So, I, dude, I cannot complain at all. Cannot complain whatsoever. All right, so the right side team won those. Again, with these, if I have duplicates, I'll give one to each. And then whatever's left over will go to the right side team. All right. Now these, well, these need a home. And I'm going to go ahead and just give them all to one. Well, this one, the right side team. So this will be Nationals. That was part of the uh, random I just did. Left to right team. And with these, since I can't really pinpoint a team on either of these cards, I mean, that's I'm pretty sure that's a Tiger, and I think that's a Cub, but I, I can't say for sure. So I'm just going to random all these cards here to, the, to one spot. Let's roll the die. We're going to go ten times. I'm just going to grab the team list here, copy it, come to the list randomizer. Put that on the screen. There it is. Top team. We'll get these cards. Here we go. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, and the money shot ten. Boom. The Marlins at the top. So these will go to the Marlins. Make a note of that. Man, the Bulls are up by 18 points. Crazy. Absolute destruction of the Heat right now. This is Marlins, Marlins, <clears throat> yeah, I know, I know y'all dealing with uh, all that cold, man, hopefully you guys are staying warm, stay inside, don't even bother going outside the house, man, that's craziness, alright, so that's taken care of. Alrighty, let's recap this, shall we? So we got Cabrera Tigers patch, Torres Yankees, Mancini Orioles, Martinez Red Sox to 99, Rizzo Cubs, a Joe Maurer medallion for the Twins to 50, a Seaver medallion for the Mets to 150. Uh, we got another medallion here. For Robert Yont of the Brewers. Got a patch here for Mike Trout of the Angels. 24-25. Very nice. Uh, got a couple patches here as well. For the Astros, Alex Bregman. Mariners, Robinson Cano to 25. And for the Cardinals, Yadier Molina. In autos, we have... Blake Training A's, Jake Bowers Rays, Daryl Strawberry Mets, Travis Shaw of the Brewers to 50, Max Muncy of the Dodgers, and last but not least, Masahiro Tanaka of the Yankees. 25 of 25, little eBay 101 right there. Very nice. And that's going to do it for the break. Thank you, folks. We'll get it out.